and got this Scotch brand, extremely strong Velcro. It's not actually like fuzzy and latch hook Velcro. It's more like a plastic latch and hook. Uh, it's rated for 10 pounds, but if you put it all around, I have more faith than that. Uh, the light file to file down some of the fuzz on the box for the subwoofer. Sacto knife, got a little heat to apply this 3M Velcro. Some scissors to cut it and some tools to mark where we need to put it. First things first, I'm gonna take this rug and any other items you may have. You can check it out. I wanna look at the bottom of this subwoofer. I'm gonna take an X-Acto blade and try and pull up some of the edges of this. I'm gonna measure this Velcro. It's about an inch long. So I'm gonna try and go an inch all the way around because I'd like to do the Velcro in a square around the edge. So now that I have all my Velcro cut to length, I'm gonna go ahead and peel the 3M and hit it with a heat gun so that when I stick it, it creates a super tacky adhesion. So next comes placement, and I want to keep my subwoofer off to the side of the trunk so I can still access my ski hatch and then also underneath this ply board get to my spare tire when I need to. I also want to be sure that I have enough clearance for the trunk arms to come down and close properly. So it looks like that'll be a good spot. Then I'm going to take this marking pen or pencil and draw some lines on the ground so I know where I want to mount it. All right, so now I can peel the Velcro off and place it in the area. I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun again to make sure it's nice and tacky. All right, so before I just turn over the sub and stick it onto the Velcro, I'm going to make cuts on the 3M adhesive Velcro so that when I peel the subwoofer off, I can still access these things and have it still be a little free roaming in there. So now we can flip it over and get it aligned and really smush down on that 3M to make it sit into your, which we're gonna let it sit overnight. Last but not least is putting the carpet back in. I'm gonna go ahead and do is fit it into space, kind of cut a hole in it, and remove a square from the inside of the carpet. So I cut a little extra in this area to be able to get the sub to mount on the Velcro completely fine. Let's go ahead and stick it in place. massaging to get into place but now the sub is mounted and the carpet is shimmied into place now we got to go test it 